We're done. Okay, that's cool. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Alpha Crucis Esports um, competitive season. We've got uh, a couple of couple of teams up today. We've got what that that's agorable versus GG in the Discord. Um, just about to hit the draft in three, two, one. All right. Um, maybe Flower Monkey, you can take us through the draft. Don't fight us, I believe in you. Yeah, sure thing, man. Um, so we have the that's a gorable with uh, Severok, Juwan on the Severok, High Primate, who is playing. <laughs> Just waiting for it. Uh, the other team picked up a Gideon though, which is interesting. We've only seen two get in so far, and in the first game that get in was picked, it didn't do too hot. <laughs> but I would like to see some cool get in plays today. It would make me feel good. Yeah, Gideon is. Uh, you don't see much of him lately. I don't know why he's not played that much. I mean, he can, he's kind of squishy, and just once he's CC'd out of his ult, he's just like, oh yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, so higher primate uh, with the Decker pick. Uh, and Kiri with the Murdoch, White T with Gadget, and Microbic Walnut on Yin. And for the other side, we have Rampage and Hit Me Up, Gideon Diddy, we have a Narbash and a Quang, and I didn't, can't remember the other pick. All right, so apparently these guys don't know who we are. Um, I'm Al, and with me is uh, Master Flo and uh, <laughs> Monkey. Technical difficulties chunks. Uh, <laughs> Savage. Savage. Savage but accurate. See. I'm never gonna live that down. <laughs> I'm never gonna live it down. <laughs> Grim was the last pick, sorry boys. Alright. Alrighty. Game's taking seven years to load in. Oh, shall we wait for you, shall we, monkey? I'm at uh, five sec jokes. I'll, Hang on. I'll I'm just sit five it. seconds. Twenty twenty six seconds in game. We'll, uh, we'll check out this master Narbash. I'll wait till I get to twenty six um, seconds. Looks pretty damn good, actually. Oasis siphon. Alright, I'm on 26 That's seconds now. Look at all these dummy wards. Uh, you can go if you want. I'm at 26. 26? Alright, you're good, Flo. Oh, uh, just hold up a sec. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why it's skipping, man. It skips to like 50 for some reason. Master, hold up a sec, Flo. <laughs> <laughs> Re rename him to hold up a sec, boys. Uh, you guys, you guys, tell me when you're at 52 seconds. This is too hard. 52. <laughs> okay. All right. You ready? I'm Go. going. I'm just gonna wait. I'll pause at 52. So we got Nabash warding down the river here. Um, Quang and says that he looks like he's warded the left hand side there. So just coming up to 50 seconds now, Flo, uh, watching uh, Ankitty shoot his uh, friendly Severog in the face. Alright, 52 now. Yep. Alright, everyone's gone back to their lanes, placed all their dummy wards. Let's see what they've all got. Oasis Siphon on the Severog to start. Narbash starting with a circle of health, interesting. Good sustain in lane. Rampage with a Madstone Gem and a Health Potion. Is this... Jungle Narbash? I mean, Jungle Rampage with the Madstone. <laughs> Interesting. Jungle... what was that? Jungle Narbash? Jungle Rampage, I corrected myself. Jungle Rampage, okay. With a... Madstone, Madstone. spot? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's interesting. We'll look at the mid lane here. Everyone's just chilling. No one's really putting any pressure on any lanes at the moment. Yeah, just getting, getting that farm, that early game farm on. But you know, there, there doesn't seem to be a lot of that lately in this uh, this new patch. It just seems to be a lot of uh, team fighting. 
Who doesn't love a good team fight, man? Yeah, like, you're not wrong there. Every minute of every game in every lane. Oh, oh. <laughs> I do love my Quang. I do love people seeing Quang. So I do have a soft spot for um. Let's see if you can get some sick chathers off. Three man chather ulti. If I see that, I will get pretty hot. But uh, what do you guys think? Um, whose team do you reckon's got the like? Who's got the better team? Do you reckon heroes wise? Um, well, I'd, I'd probably have to say that Team Agorable, maybe Gadget and the Severog and the yeah. Deco. Hopefully, the Gadget goes um, Ash, even though it's got that it's had that slight nerf, but still really good for her ulti. Just keep everyone in there. I just uh, I also noticed that um, White T, she's uh, I played a lot against her in games, and she is actually a gadget main, so she ended up getting her pick, which is a good thing to see. Yeah, interesting. But with the the gadget Deco combo, that's just going to be insane if they can get five people in there. It'll, they'll just all drop, even though the Gideon can portal out of there. Hopefully, they can you can coordinate his team, just jump out, see what happens though. On the flip yeah. side though, on GG's team, you've got the tether into the rampage rock, into the Narbash stun, into the yeah. slow, into the knock up. Um, as long as your Grim's nice and fed and, and you're coordinating well, there's a lot of chain CC there um, to sort of deal with the 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 get the, the gadget and the and the decker. Oh so, Ju one, see if you can get a gank off. Uses auto, and now I should just say no, thank you, mate, and thanks him. Two master skins. That's a lot of. Yeah, redness. this is a pretty hot lane. Yeah, I was just about to say something about that. Uh, usually, you don't see that too often. Two master skins in the same lane of support and they uh, carry, which is uh, that's a good thing. A lot of experience there, guys. <laughs> I don't think the volume goes any higher, man. Sorry. Meanwhile, TNC is just sapping off all this experience, and if he wants, he can go for a kill on the Murdoch when he gets level 5, it's not that hard. As long as he has the mana. Hopefully we'll see some rotations mm. coming out from Hit Me Up soon. He is thinking about it in the river here, he's got his green up. But, looks like he'll just go back into his jungle. Not that much difference in the last hits either. It's only about 9 in it. It's not that much. 9, 10. I, st I think I'm still... <laughs> I think I'm still uh, a bit behind you guys. What, where are you up to? So, are we looking at the, the top timer or...? Yeah, yeah top timer. Yeah, so I'm at 4 five... minutes on the dot here. Oh, I'm, I'm at, at 5 30. minutes 30. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what are you good old on, slow on, flow. Pause your game for a sec, pause your game. Good old okay, slow flow. Right, so, your timer down the bottom left is 6.56. 7.02. Right, let me get to 7.02. For a pull, right? We'll take this time to quickly look at the scoreboard, see how the farming's going. Yeah, it's not, it's not that far apart. 7, 3 out of 8. Alright, I'm at 7.03. A wolfman very slightly in the lead. So uh, say, it, say it when you're ready, I'll press play. Uh, we'll go Eight. three, two, are you ready? Yeah. Uh, two. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, excellent. Back into it. So, generally, Sorry fairly, about that. fairly slow start here. Everyone's sort of just farming away. Yeah, not many rotations coming off here at the moment. Resident we see, Sleeper. We see a lot of the, uh, the healer tokens come into play here as well. That 2.8 oh, health regen. DNC in trouble in the off lane here. Oh, but. Oh, and he misses his ulti because of the pushback from the Murdoch, but still oh, gets the man. kill. Missed it. Pog champ. I want some Pog champs in the chat from that one. Come on, Twitch. I know you're there. And he's just gonna back away, feeling like a boss ass bitch. Tannic there. Good right. plays.
you one in the in the jungle here, Severo. Always a good pick. Um, what what do you guys think of uh, Yin in the in the offlane here? I've Mark, seen it Mark work on the on the Yin. I've seen it work because she can just sap levels, even though she, like yeah, she needs levels, but she really needs the CP. So if she can get some decent amount of CP in this, say if the tower goes down early and she can just farm the lane freely, it just pretty much becomes two carries in the game because well, she might go crit, then they'll have her and Murdoch both running crit. Crit and can just absolutely melt down this the other team. Invisible rampage looking for a rock here. It's not quite. I think he should have gone for that. Yin can just die with a thunk as well. Standing on a ward. I <laughs> uh, <laughs> think Gadget uh, may have known he was there. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, is going on over here. Nabash and gets out, banging his drums. Wow, water rock from hit me up, misses it. Gank does not not successful. But it looks like everyone's just gonna reset and farm again. Seems good. But again, Hankir and TNC. He's gonna oh. go down. He will go down the LD. This is so his Quang is just so good in the lane. He can just do that over and over again. He can just slowly whittle them down with a right click and then eventually ult them or just or go up and right click them. Yeah, you well, what you do want is that uh, constant harass on the uh, enemy carry, and uh, if, yeah, if you can land those tethers, it's fun. It's, uh, it's definitely, definitely a good thing. Yeah. See that Wolfman is pulling ahead with 12 CP, and Murdoch's only on 11 at the moment. So killing him is um is making work for the team. Also, um. So Wolfman starting off with the uh, the cast token and a healer token. Yeah, I like to do that now as well for my carries instead of instead of um, to um, like I say two cast tokens and a and a pot. Just feel like it's good just to have that steady regen all the time. Hmm. It's like everyone does it now. You can have it in the mid as a mid laner. You have it as a carry, and you definitely want it as an off laner. Oh yeah. Sort of had some starts of fights trying to break out here, but not quite. No solid engages. No sort of. No, no, no real aggression. They sort of get in, smack each other a couple of times, and then get out. And finally, so they will take down that tower. So maybe they'll switch. Maybe not. Maybe they'll go rotate mid and try and make something happen, or they'll just go farm for the rest of the game. Interesting strats. Oh, Quan, Quan with another tether on Ankir. He will go for the ult, he misses the sun on the Decker. Rampage coming in. Oh, misses a rock. Misses a rock, unfortunate. Good try. We also see, uh... That's Glacier. Was it Glacier Born Rampage skin? Yeah. That's a that's a quite a that's a nice skin, man. It's pretty spicy, I would say. I like I got because I got I actually got the other one the other day. What's it called? The the metal one. I don't know what it is. Pretty alright, but I think it's pretty. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just want to see Gideon plays. I want to see something happen mid. I think they're just happy farming, which is alright. Oh, that's I guess. right. You, you are quite fond of Gideon, aren't you? I mean, play yeah. get in the in the mid lane a lot. He's my boy. Uh, yeah. like, we like to make plays and stuff like that. It's just Narbash doing. Hey, <laughs> coming up on a He's just, just... sneaking it around. Um, hello, my friend. Oh, he's he's got that master skin. He can do, he can do whatever he wants, man. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, no thanks. I don't want to tank these creeps anymore. Gideon has rotated though, but he's just like, oh, yeah, no, that's enough for me. Gone back mid. Maybe I just uh, took a lot of damage mid from the gadget as well. We see uh, some wards on uh, Raptors uh, from <laughs> Team Agorable. So they will hopefully try to get uh, get to the Raptors when they can. 
Yeah, Wolfman just took the gold buff as well. So he's farming his lane now. I don't know if he'll make his way to Raptors or if he'll just farm the lane with the gold buff then go to Raptors. If he does that, he'll be severely ahead of the uh, Murdoch. 16 CXP to 14 on the carries. Quang looking for a pick on Decker. Mm. Man, it's so aggressive. I like it. You can see, you can see that they just they, they want something to happen here. <clears throat> they're, they're moving around too much. Copper, thank you, Golden. See, I couldn't remember it. I, Copper, was it? I knew it was some the, metal. The, the, the metal one. Yeah, the metal one. <laughs> oh, you you weren't wrong, man. Yeah. But technically, you weren't right. I mean. Whatever you say, my friend. Wish I could see how many stacks Severok had. He's got at least over 50 now, I think. Yeah, you can't you can't see the stacks, eh? No. Uh, it's a bit of a letdown. I'm trying to make a move on this Quang, but he's too fast, running with his little Asian weak legs. Oh, Yin. In trouble here. Backflip over Rampage. Ulti down. And she's just gonna walk to safety. So, um, how, how do you guys feel about the... So, you know the left side of the jungle now. Do you feel that the, uh, the offlaner should be taking both the camps, or... Just the offlane camp? I think you should, um, I think you should definitely take <clears throat> both of them at the start of the game. Uh, but, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, especially if his lane's pushed up and he's got nothing to do, he can't sap experience, he might as well. And he will get a kill, actually, on the Murdoch again. How many, how many is that now? Ankiri's on three deaths. I'm not too sure if I've seen Ankiri play, uh, carry before. Yeah, I haven't really played with these people that much, so I don't know how they play, but, yeah, um, since it looks like he's very comfortable when he's going mid lane, mid lane shenanigans, trying to get some chip damage on these towers, maybe. Good rock from the Gideon. We got. Uh, meanwhile, we got Quang pushing up left lane. Oh, well, he's going to retreat now. Just keeping that constant pressure. Looks like Severog is coming his way though, so... Oh, he's gonna make it out of there. Just getting that ward control all over the map by the looks of it. Mm. Meanwhile, Grim, happy farming. Oh. Oh, what's going on Where here? What's going on? Oh, Nabash yeah, is the old. Drums for me, Nabash. Keep going, son. Nothing oh, comes up, though. They get out of it. Alive. So, that, yeah, that was uh, the first fight we've seen at Raptors at the moment. <laughs> Unfortunately, there was... No one died. No, no one died, which is, uh... You know, it's a good and a bad thing. It's whatever. Just having a look at uh, Ankiri's CS versus Wolfman. 87 on Wolfman and uh, 72 on Ankiri. Alright, uh, they will try to go for Raptors now, the Rampage and the Quang. I guess they're just trying to get their Quang, a Quang ahead since he's already got three hours. Oh, but contestant. They are being contested. This is Rock again. Oh, Two Rock Aussie. Two oh, one is gonna go man. down. Oh, the Gideon. Oh, there you go, monkey. Oh, oh. Looks like Decker's gonna go down as well. There's only one in the game. Oh, funked. Awesome so, stuff. Only Severog was to die out of that. <laughs> and and uh, Decker, wasn't it? Oh, did she? Yeah. It's glitching out for me. Okay, it is. Doesn't say she's dead for me. That's weird. Anyway, but it looks like Grim's gonna try and take these raptors. 
Murdoch snipe on them, nearly killed the Nabash. Classic. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely not good for the team. S um, I nearly called him SPT. Um, <laughs> Wolfman's just absolutely farming like a champion at the moment. He's now got 5 ZXP over Murdoch. And we're, we're just seeing uh, Quang, he's just making himself available in all these fights, which is a good thing. Most often you'll see uh, a few offlaners, they don't particularly want to rotate a lot. Um, but it's it's a good thing that we, we're seeing move around a lot. So, uh, what do we reckon if uh, we see Morigash get unbanned in the next round for games? Is uh, are we going to see maybe some some disbands? People are just going to say, "Nah, fam, I don't want to play anymore," or are we just going to see her banned every single game from teams? Oh, I'm I'm assuming that she's just going to be banned, one way or the other. Somebody's going to be like, "Nah." <laughs> no thanks. Uh, we, 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 we can't deal with that right now. I mean, as a character, yeah, who wants to play against Morigash? If she's in your oh. lane, let's be honest. Yeah. Not me, that's for sure. It's just, yeah, it's, I think I think it's just a right click and their Q at the moment, man. Yeah, man. It's way strong. But Microbic has picked up his uh, crit bonus already and finished it. And got a wow. little bit of crit going, so he's um early crit bonus. Happy farming. Yeah, that's interesting. I haven't seen um Yins do that. I don't. Know. Oh, we'll see what happens. If it works, it works, I guess. I'm pretty sure I've seen um Microbic. He was a Kalari main. Oh, Back on Kalari Legacy. Kalari main. Kalari, I'd. I'd... I'd love to see someone play Kalari in these tournaments. That'd be uh. That'd oh, be don't awesome, tempt man. CK. He'll do it. <laughs> oh, that's right. CK used to play Kalari as well. I remember that. CK will do it. He loves that kid. Burdock's just taking his own gold. Trying to get up on the CP. But Quang's here. We're at uh, 20, 20 minutes into the game now, and um, we're at the. They haven't pushed down that right tower, Murdoch. So... Just a very stale game at the moment, honestly. Nothing much is happening. There's been, what... How many people have died? Like, total? Oh, so there's five deaths. Five deaths, that's it? Yep. 20 minutes? Yeah, there's mm. just so much vision. And uh, four, like, four of them were Quang's de uh, kills. Several trying to make something happen on the Gideon, and you will miss the route. Oh, and the ulti. Gideon says, no thank you. Oh, the Narbash ult coming into play here. Here we go. YT is going to get targeted, and oh, YT, YT is going to go down. Could get that ulti. ult off sooner. Unlucky. Five man rotation. In mid the lane, they Gonna try to push that mid, mid tower down. That gadget, man. Oh! The Gideon! Oh, oh, so. oh that's a nice Gideon ulti. Oh, but he doesn't get cancelled. Ooh, they're gonna pick off Microbic as well. Microbic will die. Oh. Deck is just going to try and run away here, but uh, yeah, she's she's out. Oh, that will definitely secure that mid tower. What That's time three now. That? I accidentally clicked on the bar. Uh, twenty fifty. Okay. Do you want to support us at twenty one? Uh, should be right. I'll find it. So they're going to push down this tier two as well. The tier two is going to go down as well. Yep. Wow. So we, we went from a stale game to two, uh, T1 and a T2 in one hit. Interesting. Where are you guys at now? 21-19, 20. 21-20, 21-21, 21-22. Yeah, oh, Gitchy. Thank you, then. So that's going to be a T2 down. Uh, 
just over 20 minutes. And going for raptors now as well. Another set of raptors into the Grim there. Grim's happy with that. He's like, yes, please. Give me that, daddy. He's now 9 CP over the Murdoch. Significant lead. <clears throat> He's sitting pretty. Pretty well off. So what what are your thoughts on uh, on Narbash as a, as a support? I think um I think more people are picking him recently just for the stun because it's so quick. Um, yeah. His ulti is pretty good too, but um, I only have one problem is that he's pretty squishy. Like he looks like he should be tanky as all of those rolls and whatnot, but if he just if he gets focused down, he'll just die straight away, and then like his ulti can be cancelled and he can just die, and his ulti will just go off like won't go off. So there is some negatives, but. There is some positives with him as well, but he is definitely strong for his stun and his speed buff for catch and for running away, for peel and whatnot. So I can see why he's um, reliable at the moment. So yeah, I think I like him. Well said. And there we go. I'm gonna go for this gold buff for the Grim. Get him even more ahead. Meanwhile, Murdoch and Deco trying to defend their tier 2. <laughs> Quang just teasing the Severog. He's gonna get fucking rooted though. There we go. Swap. He got poked by the Gideon, decided to back off. Gideon's there to back him up. Severog's <laughs> uh, like, get me out of here, boys. Deck is low though, probably too low to be hanging around that Quang. She's Looks probably like gonna try and make something happen in the jungle here. Hopefully we can get a fight to break out. Rampage also has green and red buff. His rock will hurt. But, looks like everyone's just gonna bail out. Well, again, this is all happening and Grim's just like, Yeah, I'm just gonna farm boys, don't worry, I'll join you at 60 CP. <laughs> That's it. If it gets to 60 CP though. <laughs> It, it seems that uh, this meta, it's just quick games and that's it. Yeah, we've had a... Uh, the games that we've had have all been pretty quick at the moment. Yep. But this one's... This one seems a bit more um, slow paced than the other ones. Rampage has picked up his Thunder Cleaver. Namash does have his Divine Shield as well, along with Honor the Pure and Quenching Scales. Classic support items here, same with Dekka, has got Honor the Pure and Quenching. Nothing new there. Gideon is rocking the Ash of the Witch. Yeah, I've seen, it's, I played that with it once, it was decent. That's an interesting uh, card to put in. On a Gideon especially. Oh, Dekka caught out. Oh, Narbash no, drums going off. Get in, ult. Dekka cage. Good ulti from the Union. They do get out of it though. He is cancelled at the last second. Can they pick off the Severog? Yes, they will. Good rock from the Gideon. And Yin. Yin coming in doing damage. She's just gonna be like, nah, I'm fine. Gideon's keen. He's just baiting right now. Oh, oh! Nice rock from the rampage. Absolutely destroying the decker. Meanwhile, Grim still. <laughs> She's still sitting in his lane. Just sitting there farming up. He's just not a care in the world. Not a care in the world. He's, uh, he's not getting any harassment either, which is... Uh... So they're just going to back off, and Prime is the play maybe for them. Oh, they're going for Prime by the looks of it. Good job. They get this and they can get rather end, inhib, inhib T2. Hopefully get something, and I'll just go back and farm.
looks like they will secure Prime. Gadget, I think, does sniff something, but she's not going to get there in time. Buffs up on the way, but they do have the regen from this new Prime, so they don't have any troubles there. Looks like they're going to push me, trying to get that in him down. Maybe if they wipe, they'll be able to end and see what happens here. Yeah, it looks like a mid play here. Gideon scrubbed the Invis, doing some dank 180s in the river. Grim's all for it. He's, he just wants to, he wants that in here. He's got his name all over it, man. Quang's on his own here, just trying to take this tier too. This could be an in hip down by the looks of it. Oh, geez, that Grim hits pretty hard. Oh, look at that rock. Stop there in the you know, here. I'm not sure I've seen High Primate play support. I've usually seen him play uh, a lot of carry. Microbic Warnock's gonna go down. Did he's, uh, he's in an unusual position? <laughs> Did he an ulti down? I mean, up. judge an ulti down for that. Oh Ten. no. This is uh, cool. But can they get the Indian from this? Rampage ulti's popped. Oh, I'm the deck cage. That's an in here down, guys. In wow. Down. DK job. Seb's down. Oh, Grim is down. Grim's gonna fall down as well. Uh, Gideon's just gonna portal out saying, Slide him out. We got an in here. Good job, so, boys. So, so, some would say, um, if, if I remember correctly, uh, that is, that's worth? Is that, would, would you call that worth it? <laughs> On, for who? For them to take down the, the inhib and obviously take the that came two. with it. Oh, yeah. all this three down, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nah, that was, that's worth, because the other team, they can't push off this, like all the lanes are pushed, they can't do anything. They farm their jungle in the lanes, that's it, they can't really get an objective off this. The other people, they're just gonna respawn and go back to farming and do another push, so yeah, worth, 100%. Yeah, they gave a bit of blue um, bounty from the Grim Death, but still, they're extremely far ahead at the moment. Still worth. I'd say worth. Gideon's gonna come with the deck here. Let's just get a pussy out. I mean, he's just gonna run away like a good Gideon. <laughs> <laughs> good save. <laughs> No, no one heard. <laughs> Sorry, I just did a pav. <laughs> Back to the stalemate, but this Quang, I can just tell, he's itching to make a play. He's just itching to just kill people. Once he, once he gets that tether down, man, it's, it's just pretty much goodbye. I reckon I... Uh, it's just a Q, followed by a right click, followed by an R. That is if you play on PC, by the way. <laughs> Who plays on PS4? Dance game. Several coming up behind the Gideon here. Knocks him into IT. And they're just gonna back off. So at this point in the game, uh, it's looking in favour of um, GG in the Disco Road. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> but there, there's a there's a there's a dash there. So. Oh, we got some Teddy good difficulties on hard floors again. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming it's Disco Road, right? <laughs> just gonna let you uh, just struggle on that one. <laughs> anyway, it looks like they're trying to make a push mid. They can make something happen. Well, I guess they're just gonna go for core. I'm not gonna worry about the other two in hips. Gideon's oh, gonna teleport out of that, that one. Hurts. That yin hurts. Rampage oh, going full ballsy in that one. Knocked away by the Rampage. So what we're seeing here That's is just Rampage. Rampage is doing what Rampage does. Oh, oh. yes, yeah, bang your drums for me, Nabash. 
a lot of old oh, combos going on here. I'm not sure I can keep up with this. Oh, good, good, you know, there. Seven Rock really close to being dead. Will they get him? Oh, Seven Rock. Oh, the Grim ult. Oh, yeah, Grim. Oh, bye bye. Seven Rock is uh, down. Looks like it's gonna be a man. game. White Tee's gonna go down as well. Oh, White Tee. White Tee, you poor soul. So it looks like GG in the Discord. Gets the Slash GG. Disco Road. <laughs> Gets the W. Gets the W.